everybody, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another fan casting video for you today. It's going to be a good one. The Fox properties are getting ready to close out and we're going to be seeing all those characters going back over to Disney and then thus to Marvel. So we're going to get the Fantastic Four back in the MCU and so we want to fan cast those characters. Now I've already done the first three, uh, Reed, Sue, and Johnny, and now I'm fan casting for you Ben Grimm. So I want to go ahead and jump right back into that. So welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. You guys, uh, buckle up because I'm going to try to skim through these a little bit quicker uh, and I'll be giving you guys notes as we go along the way. So let's get into this. Benjamin Grimm, The Thing. Michael Chiklis played him in the renditions that had uh, Jessica Alba and Chris Evans as Invisible Woman and Human Torch. And then uh, Michael Chiklis, honestly, I thought was absolutely perfect for that role. Jamie Bell was playing Ben Grimm in the more recent, I think it was the 2015, the Fant Four Stick movie, which was hot trash. It was hot garbage. Dumpster fire. That whole movie was trash. And But Jamie Bell, um, I think, was just absolutely miscast. He should have been Johnny Storm in that one, honestly. There was a couple other guys. I'm not going to get into those. Ben Grimm is somebody who was the best friend of Reed Richards, and uh, he was kind of the muscle. He was the friend that tagged along. He was always there, their best buds. But he's he's more of a street guy. He's more of someone that that is more street savvy. He would get into brawls and protect Reed, who was not a fighter. He was a thinker. He was always the muscle. That's something that is really fun about the thing is that you know his his tagline, it's clobbering time. That whole thing just kind of defines who he is. He's that like that ardent protector of his people. He's very tribal, he's loyal, um, but he's also a softy on the inside. He likes to kind of mess around, banter with Johnny. Um, you gotta have someone that's got some humor. You gotta have someone that can do soft-hearted. You gotta have someone that can be very um, self-conscious and a little bit introverted. Then you also have to have someone that can really like rage out. You gotta have someone that's really powerful on screen. This is probably gonna translate into CGI or motion capture when it goes into the hands of Marvel. Um, Cause that's certainly what they've done with the Hulk and a lot of the bigger bulkier characters. They don't try to do a lot of um, uh, prosthetics or whatever. They like to do a lot of motion capture. So regardless of whether or not the actor is huge or not, um, you could get away with doing that. So that'll justify some of my selections, but I'm gonna just explain that as we go, ready? Okay, so first up, David Denman. So you guys might know this guy from The Office. You might know him from the 2017 Power Rangers. Um, you might have seen him in 13 Hours film or uh, Out Cold, The Replacements. You might have seen him in the new trailer for Brightburn. It's the James Gunn movie coming out soon that looks just like a Superman movie. I made a video on that that's doing really, really well. So go check that out. 45 years of age, six foot four. I, again, he's best friends with Reed. They went to college. He, he has to be in that same age range. And I picked a lot of actors that are a little bit older. Um, for Reed, so I would want someone that is kind of in this pocket 45 to 55 years of age now This is the younger end, but he could play someone a little bit older. It's not that big a deal So he is a good fit. He's huge six foot four is a giant. That's big and so that would also Lend to the the backstory of hey, this guy's a big guy and he was the tough guy that would protect Reed He's got that he's got those like gentle eyes the blue eyes that Ben Grimm is known for um, but he's also very tough and so he's got that whole thing down i wanted to skip ahead and show you guys some of the images um, i'm clearly not the only person that has thought of this david denman is a top pick for ben Grimm at this time a lot of people are looking at him for this i'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of others um you know you'll see a lot of these other fan castings these are obviously not my own this is from google um but you can see that there's a lot of people that want him here I will say that David Harbour is a great choice. Now, this is not on my list, but the reason it's not on my list is because I'm trying my best for you guys not to recycle all the same castings, even if I like them from the X-Men castings I did uh, and into the Fantastic Four, because I want I, I'm, the purpose of these videos is to try to get these, these guys some recognition. So hopefully Marvel will actually cast these guys. That's my goal. And uh, if you guys like this, share it with a friend. But David Harbour, yes, I do think he would be perfect for the role, but he's not on my list. I just had to mention him because I saw him right here in the image. But anyway, David uh, Denman is absolutely magnificent for this role. He's going to be great. David Denman would be solid, solid choice for this. Let me know what you guys think. I love to hear from you guys. Next up, 
Will Arnett, 48 years of age, six foot two. Again, pretty tall, six foot two is tall. Um, 48 in that pocket between 45 and 55 is pretty much where I want him. But also the reason I'm picking him is he's not notoriously like jacked or anything, but he doesn't have to be. He can be kind of normal. I mean, six two is pretty big, but he can be fairly normal until he transforms and gets his powers because that's where um, that's where the magic's gonna happen. That's when you get motion capture. That's when you get CGI. Or in the case of the early 2000s editions of Fantastic Four, you get prosthetics, costumes. It doesn't really matter. But this guy is pretty big, and he is right in the age range, but also he knows how to play someone that is rough. He knows how to play someone that can banter back and forth, say, with Johnny. Um, he's really funny. If you guys have seen uh, the Lego movie or Lego Batman, um, this guy is absolutely hilarious. He was also in um, Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Uh, that movie was really, really funny, and he plays Slade in that one. He's got a really gruff voice. If you guys have seen Hot Rod, he's the guy that was driving. He was the boyfriend to um, Isla Fisher that was yelling like, Babe, babe, no, wait, babe, babe, please, babe, babe. Just translate that to, it's clobbering time. It's pretty close. I mean, you can. he's got that voice. So if you're going to do motion capture CGI and then you've got some vocal acting required, he is your guy. This guy is a legend. So I'm going to skip forward. Other people have seen, have been seeing this the same way that I have. You see this here with some of these other picks. I think uh, Catherine Winnick was on my list. So was, I think Taron Egerton might have been. I'll have to go back and review that. Or maybe he was almost on the list. But Will Arnett definitely was on, is on my list. He's number two. Uh, he's a fantastic choice. This guy is really funny. Um, this is just a pick of him laughing. But uh, really cool dude. Uh, from what I can see online based on I love the characters that he plays gosh He's awesome, but other people have have been seeing him for fantastic four as well And so uh, a lot more on Instagram than just on a quick Google search. But let me recap his stats um, David Denman number one was six foot four really tall 45 years of age Will Arnett number two is six foot two 48 years of age So I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead to the next one. The next one up is Patrick Warburton and Patrick Warburton is 54 years of age actually where I want uh, Ben Grimm and Reed Reed Richards if I could have my choice six foot three a little taller than Will Arnett um, a little bit shorter than David Denman but he's right in that pocket the guy is huge he used to play the tick if I'm not mistaken he's been on Family Guy oh hey Peter how's it going hey can I borrow some sugar you know he's that he's the guy in the wheelchair he's Joe and then in the series of unfortunate events he plays Lemony Snicket um, the detective, the officer who is narrating the story. He was Kronk in Emperor's New Groove. He's me, he's me. Put your hands in the air. All right, the poison. The poison chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison. You know, that guy. Very famous voice. Six foot three is really good. And a lot of people have been showing off his physique. Um, but this wasn't really a physique thing just because it was the costume that was all like buff and, and bubbly. It's a fake suit. But nonetheless, he's... Everyone knows that he's a big dude. He's a big guy that always plays a big guy. And I think he would be really good in the role if you wanted to pair him with an older uh, Reed Richards. Not a lot of fan castings for him, but he came to mind, and uh, I'm really excited about that. So I'll go ahead and just jump ahead um, a little bit. He's the oldest one I've got on my list so far. So I'll just keep moving along. Next person, Kevin Duran. And this guy is awesome. You probably know him from Lost. He was in... Uh, Real Steel, he was in X-Men Origins Wolverine. This guy usually plays a bad guy. He usually typically plays someone that's really rough, really mean, very cold. But uh, in X-Men Origins, I feel like he was misused a little bit. I mean, it was it was funny. It was cool to see him in there. But it just it was shocking to me that they picked someone so jacked and then flipped it and had him play Blob, um, which is who he played. He played Fred Duke's Blob. So at 45 years of age, Right at the young part of the pocket of where I want him. Six foot six is so dang tall. I think that makes him the tallest person on my list, which is shocking when you see the rest of my list. <laughs> I've got some big dudes on this list as well. So number four, Kevin Durant, 45 years of age, a little young, but super huge. The guy is awesome. And he always plays someone that's really rough and tough. And that's 
a major part of what we want for Ben Grimm. Not the only part. He's going to have to stretch and show us that he can play someone that can be soft as well and has the ability to banter back and forth uh, with Johnny, for instance. But let's go ahead. A lot of people are showing this off. See, this is him as Fred Duke's blob, <laughs> which is like, it's super gross. It's really funny. But I did appreciate that they went pretty comic book accurate with, with blob. You know, it was a little weird seeing him like that, but yeah, he's actually quite jacked. And uh, a lot of people are showing off him as the thing, which is uh, really, really cool. I really like this. This is a good image. It's really small. Sorry about that, guys. Um, can't help that very much. He's played a lot of roles. The vast majority of them have not been nice guys. So anyway, I'll just go ahead and just leave that there. But uh, him playing Fred Dukes. Oh yeah, when he was in, uh, this is him in Wild Hogs. But when he was, when he was, this reminded me of when he was in uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. There at the beginning, he actually played a character that was, you know, uh, pre mutation like overload so before the blob became the blob he was just fred dukes and he was like the un he was basically the immovable unstoppable wicked strong super tough tank guy he was that guy and then he gains all that weight which was a little bit different than the comic origin of blob uh initially that was part of his superpower with origins they kind of just made it like depression and a lot of eating <laughs> which is weird but yeah he uh Yep, so that's kind of what he looked like a little bit. Just very rough and tough. And I think that would kind of be fun to explore if you wanted to make him the thing. So I'm going to leave that there. Again, 6'6 six, six is huge. He's got that going for him. Let's get moving. Next up, Greg Grunberg uh, at 52 years of age, 6'1". So again, this makes him currently the second shortest on the bonus list. So this guy, Greg Grunberg. Really cool, really funny. If you've heard him on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast, you know he's a really great guy. Um, he was on Heroes, um, Star Wars The Force Awakens. He plays uh, Snap Wexley, which is really cool. I really love that. And I've actually gotten to interact with him a lot. I'm going to make another video about this so you guys can see this. I'm going to show the tweets and everything. But he's so cool. Like, if you tweet him, he responds. Like, he's really cool. And I asked him a bunch of questions about Star Wars. Are we going to get some more Snap Wexley in the X-Wings? He actually responded and let me know, yeah, they're actually filming that as as we were talking on, on Instagram, which was super cool. I'm a nobody, guys. Like, I got, like, I have 150 subscribers as of the making of this video, which is, I'm, I'm super grateful for. But in the scope of YouTube itself and, you know, like, these guys that I'm talking to on, on Twitter, it's really, really uh, rare for someone like that to... to respond and give you know give the time of day to somebody like me which made my day it was really cool but anyway six foot one five uh, uh 52 years of age he's perfect age for this role um and he also is we already know he's capable of playing um like a softy someone that is emotionally more more along the lines of a sensitive like brother father um he's he's someone that can be very compassionate but he's also hilarious he's really really funny and um, he can, he's got kind of a macho voice, which is really cool because then that could translate really nicely into the voice acting work that would come with doing motion capture and voice work for Ben Grimm, the thing, which I think would be great. Cause that would help to show more of a contrast. If you get big guys in the role of Ben Grimm before they transform and then you see him transform, it's like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But the whole thing about Ben is that he's troubled by the transformation and it like, he knows he, he understands kind of like what, what a normal life is. So he's not the toughest guy on the block before he gets powers. He's just a tough guy. And so to have Greg Grunberg there, you could make the argument, yeah, he's a tough guy. He's not the toughest guy on the block. Then he gets the powers and he transforms, becomes the thing. Now he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk. That's a, that's a cool story. That's really cool. So I would like to see that. Let's keep pushing forward. I want to show you guys some of these images. This doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of uh, fan casting for the Fantastic Four, but uh, he's a really cool guy. He's a huge nerd, by the way. Not just because he's been in Star Wars, but like being in Heroes, and he's a comic book guy growing up. Um, BFFs with Michael Rosenbaum, uh, who played Lex Luthor in Smallville. The guy is just awesome, and it would be really cool to get to have him uh, play the thing. I really like him there. Um, played an officer. I forget where this was. American Crime Story, I think it was. Um, yeah, he's just a great actor. I love this guy. 
anyway not a lot to show here so i'm gonna keep moving that's my top five list i'm gonna go ahead and recap all five of my uh top top five actors so first is david denman six foot four 45 years of age next up will arnett six foot two 48 years of age patrick warburton six foot three 54 years of age number four is kevin durand uh, six foot six, which is the biggest on my list, 45 years of age. Uh, number five is Greg Grunberg, six foot one, the second shortest on my list, um, and 52 years of age. So uh, that's that's my top five. Now, let me get into the bonus picks for you guys. You guys are going to probably enjoy these. I really like these. They're not my top picks, but I, I seriously love these. So if you guys like these the most, let me know down below because honestly – if these were my castings, I, if these came true in the MCU, I would be, I wouldn't be disappointed at all. First up on the bonus pick list is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Gosh, I love this guy. He's so awesome. Forty-six years of age, six foot five. That is so tall. That's huge. That guy is a giant. Six foot five. He's the only person taller than him on my list is Kevin Durant at six six, which by the way is insane. Dwayne the Rock Johnson would be so legit. Baywatch, Rampage. Uh, Jumanji, uh, like you name any of his films, like even if the film itself isn't that great, he is always awesome in these films. Like he's just, he's the epitome of an action star. This guy is an action star. And if you want someone to just crush at clobber in time, you're going to want Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And he has a really deep macho voice as well. It probably won't take very much effort to try to uh, just grovel it a little bit, you know, like if he can grovel a little bit, then you'll be good I'm gonna show some of these castings. These are these are pretty cool There's a lot of images here for this. This one's showing him side by side with the Michael Chiklis version um, You know, there's uh, I don't know that these are made for him at all But someone has Vin Diesel on here that that would have worked if he wasn't already Groot You know, this is him as uh, what was it? Hobbs. Yeah, cuz Shaw is um, uh, The other guy but anyway from Hobbs and Shaw. This is him side by side with the thing a lot of people are seeing what we're seeing here. I don't, I'm not sure who this other guy is, but whatever. People are showing off that they want this guy in this role, uh, which I think is just great. It's going to be a while before we see a, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson Black Adam, and I honestly hope that we do. I really want Dwayne The Rock Johnson to be Black Adam. I, I genuinely do, but if that's not going to happen and it's looking like they're delaying it on purpose, delay, 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 this would be awesome. I would love to see him play the thing so that's the first one for my bonus pick let's keep moving next up john cena <laughs> and this is this shocked me when i compiled this list i did not do this on purpose but john cena is i if i'm not mistaken he is the youngest and he is the shortest on my list which blew my mind i always pictured him as a giant right in my head just because of the wwe but six foot is kind of normal-ish. Six foot, I mean, it's tall, but it's fairly, fairly common. Six foot and 41 years of age. So he is by far the youngest and he is the shortest on my list, which is absolutely shocking. I did not imagine that. I did not see that coming, but you guys probably got a chance to see him in Blockers. You probably got a chance to see him in Bumblebee and anyone who grew up watching WWE knows his name. Um, let's just keep rolling along. This is sick. I'm not sure who did this art. I it, if I could guess off the top of my head, I would I would suggest it's probably Boss Logic. If it's not Boss Logic, I'm really sorry. I don't know who it is. But this is him. This is John Cena as the thing. Someone did an art edit. And honestly, this looks really good. This looks really good to me. I would want a little bit more forehead on him though. I'd want some of that like thick comic book looking stone forehead brow type of thing going on but nevertheless um that would be perfect i think this is kind of another another edit of that as well i really like what i'm seeing here not a lot else to say i think that he could do the do the role he's not really a leading man as far as acting but as a support i think he would be fine and in a crew if you get a really nice crew together and you've got a good director that can bring out the best in john cena allow him to play to his his sense of humor um, I think that would be really good. So let's keep moving. Next up, Terry Crews. Man, Terry loves yogurt. If you guys have seen um, Brooklyn Nine Nine, I freaking I freaking love this guy. If you guys have seen White Chicks, it's probably the most funny movie ever made ever. 
Um, everybody hates Chris. This guy's just the best. Who doesn't love Terry Crews? This guy's fantastic. Fantastic enough to be on the Fantastic Four. And yes, I made that joke on purpose. Six foot two, which is tall. That's, uh, you know, it's not six three, whatever. But he is known for being able to play sweet. He can play funny. Obviously, he's a massive comedic talent. Uh, huge, gigantic buff dude. Um, 50 years old, right in that pocket, right where I want him. Uh, 245 pounds of beef. Look at that. I'm just going to highlight that for you there. Uh, not really pertinent to what I'm talking about here, but that's an interesting fact for you. So let's just keep rolling along. Um, a lot of people I saw did this, which I think is a dramatic mistake. I don't think that's good at all. He would not be good in the role of Silver Surfer. He would be perfection in the role of Ben Grimm. He would be phenomenal. I want him to play Ben Grimm. If we got if if we got to do some of my bonus picks for this role, he would be the guy you want. Let's get him in there. And so, who cares if he was in in uh, Deadpool uh, two? I do not. I do not care. Recast him. Put him in as Ben Grimm. That's what I want to. See. <laughs> Look how funny this is. This is ridiculous. See, that's that's just funny to me. But he is he's great. I want to see him. You know, yell it's clobber in time. I I could not be happier if he was in that role. That'd be so so great. Anyway, uh, Terry Crews is my third bonus pick, and last up on the list is I don't know how to say his last name. Brandon Malale Malali Malale. I'm not even sure. So you guys know who he is, um, Brandon M, and he is 47 years old, a little bit younger. I think he's six five. Okay, yeah, my notes were wrong. But whatever, Brandon Mullally, 6'5". Most people had him cast to play Shazam. Now, since he started losing his hair, he's been in less and less acting roles. But it, to me, that doesn't really make a difference. If he's going to be The Thing, The Thing doesn't have any hair anyway. It's not the end of the world. Plus, he'd probably be doing motion capture. Look how spot on this is. If he... This was... He was my number one pick years ago to play Shazam. But I'm really happy with... Zach Levi at, at for what we're seeing in the trailers. I'm really excited, but nevertheless, it's hard to deny this. This was your guy. Like this was the guy. But if you can't have that, if this guy couldn't have that option, I would say throw him in the role of the thing. He's really funny. He can banter, um, but he can also play serious roles, and that's important. And that's something. And he wouldn't have any trouble with fight scenes or any of that. This guy would be a legend. So, yep, that's it. That's pretty much all I got for you. I really like this guy. The Dodgeball, Mr. Deeds, Grand Hotel, The Rookie, Arrested Development um, with Will Arnett. I would say that this guy is probably number two or three from the bonus picks, but nevertheless is a solid option. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want you guys to let me know down below who you want to play Benjamin Grimm, The Thing. I want to hear from you. Let's see who's going to get to yell, it's clobbering time, and beat the crud out of The Incredible Hulk. This would be a lot of fun. So um, that's basically it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and turn on the notification bell to be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys don't miss a thing. Share this video with a friend, another nerd. I know you've got those friends and you know exactly who they are. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.